we're going to be talking about the Basketball Champions League America, is known as the BCLA, coming to Calgary here later in March. Xavier Moon's not going to be there because he's lighting it up with the Clippers, and he has been this season with both the LA Clippers and the Agua Caliente Clippers of the NBA G League, and he joins us on video chat today from California. Xavier, welcome to the RP Show. How's, how's life down there in California playing in uh, pro hoops? Life is great. Uh, the weather is great. Um, so I'm just enjoying it all. Good for you. Hey, we got a lot to go through with you. And by the way, uh, your good friend Lee Genier is sitting here with us at Gray Eagle Resort and Casino watching the program. He said to say hi. Before we get to this Clippers excursion with LA and the G League, let's talk about your time in the CEBL if you don't mind. Three years the league's been in existence. You were the MVP three straight years and capped it off with the championship. How do you look back at your time in Edmonton? Uh, it's been great. Like you said, we were winning. Uh, I won the MVP all three years, uh, back-to-back championship. Uh, the bonds I made with my teammates, the, the coaching staff, um, and just the, the professionalism of the league, um, it's been top tier uh, since my first year. Well, and the thing is, uh, you're from Goodwater, Alabama. And so you're a long ways from home. And we should talk about the fact that you came to, I'm just looking at your college, Northwest Florida State and Moorhead State. Lee was telling me that early on in Edmonton that you got hurt and you got released and you're like, I'm not taking no for an answer. I'm coming back. This is how bad you wanted to make it in this game of pro basketball. Can you talk about that injury and how you got back to prominence with the Stingers? Um, so I went from playing in NBA or Canada uh straight to the cbl uh the first year um like in the third game i had a stress fracture in my foot and so they they told me that i could go home so when i went home um i was actually not supposed to be playing but i was um so a lot of people was hitting me up asking me was i coming back and i was like i don't know um and then small i mean uh, barnaby uh craddock stepped down small took over and then he called me and was like he wanted me to come back um and i was like well once i get healthy and once the doctor clears me then i'll come back and the rest is history. Well, of course, but how did it feel then? Take, take me to you signing with the Clippers. And, uh, you know, I'm told that it was a series of short contracts that you kept fulfilling and getting better deals. But when you signed that first deal with the Los Angeles Clippers, what was that day like? Um, it was crazy because I had just got home uh, not even 24 hours before. Um, I flew home the night of the 22nd. Uh, we had a game in Vegas with the G League team. Um, I had a red eye flight home. Um, I got home the, the morning of the 23rd around 8 15, 8 30. Um, and then I got the call from the Clippers uh, Christmas Eve at like 9 30, 10 o'clock as I was heading home. Uh, I was driving home at the time. So I got the call from the president um, and I kind of speeded home a little bit so I could tell my family. Um, and then I flew out Christmas morning, and then I played uh, the day after Christmas. Yeah, and you did well in your time up in the big show. Talk me, t- tell me about your first NBA game. What was that like? And um, I, I wasn't nervous at all, uh, but it, it felt like that's where I needed to be. That's where I was supposed to be. Um, and just to be on that, that stage, knowing that I worked so hard to get there, uh, it meant a lot to me. And then for me to keep, keep getting the um, extensions, uh, that meant a lot too. So it just showed that all work pays off. Right. So now you're playing with the Agua Caliente Clippers out of Ontario, California. Translation, the hot water Clippers. And you guys just played last night. <laughs> Tell me about that game last yeah. night and uh, what's the road uh, ahead look like for that Clippers team? Um. The game last night wasn't the prettiest, but we got the win. So that's all that matters. Uh, it was a, the second game of a back-to-back. Um, guys probably tired. Um, it's hard to beat a team twice, especially on the back-to-back. But uh, we did what we needed to do to get the win. Um, and we're actually sitting at the top of the, the league right now, 14-6, uh, and six, um, with probably like a little over a month left. Um, so we, we've come together real, real good um, after this break that we had for Christmas. So – whether I'm here or not, I, I know the team will have a lot of success. Well, you uh, spoke earlier about the professionalism of the CEBL, and I've gone to the games, I agree. I know all the guys involved, and I love them, close friends of mine. 
Where would you be, Xavier, without the CEBL? What would be your answer to that question? Uh, I really don't even have an answer because I don't know myself. Um, the league has done so much for me uh, as far as exposure, um, helping me to grow during the summer. Obviously, a lot of people take the summers off uh, to work on their game individually, but I looked at, it, looked at it as no better way to get better than playing game. So, I mean, I took a chance on it the first year. Um, I didn't know what to expect. Um, I had to talk with my uncle. He was like, well, you can go. If you don't like it, then just come back. So, um, like I said, I took a chance on it, and it happened to, to play out for, on the better end. For- no. <laughs> yep, three consecutive years MVP. By the way, when did you become aware that the name Moon is a pretty big deal in Edmonton? How long did that take before you found that out? Uh, it was like a couple weeks. Uh, I think after the third, my third game there, when I was averaging like 26 or something, um, and then I went home, and then like it started buzzing on Twitter. Um, people was asking me was I related to Warren Moon or anything like that. Uh, I had people <laughs> saying that I was the second, the second most famous Moon in Edmonton and stuff like that. So that's when I started doing my research, and I was like, oh, I guess he's the most famous Moon in Edmonton uh, at the moment. And uh, Pro Football Hall of Fame, no doubt, and he's a very good friend of ours. All right. Well, Xavier, I appreciate this, man. We're, we're loving following your career. Keep it up. Uh, you're doing the CEBL and, frankly, this whole country proud. So I appreciate the time today and uh, continued success. Yes, sir. No problem. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Xavier Moon of the Los Angeles Clippers and their NBA G League team, the Agua Caliente Clippers. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching the RP Show on YouTube. And don't forget, we're live daily on YouTube from noon to 2 Eastern. If you like what you see, hit subscribe. And if you like the program, check around for other segments of The Rod Peterson Show here on YouTube.